When it comes to doing Facebook ads, one of the best things to have on an ad is social currency. What's that? Comments, likes, and shares. It shows that the ad is actually driving engagement because you have to figure this. Facebook wants people to stay on its platform. If you have an ad that's getting a lot of comments, that means people are staying and interacting on the ad. Now the thing is, if you have hundreds of ads, you start to dilute that social currency. Now a few years back, I made a video about how to use a Facebook post ID to use a Facebook post or reuse an ad in different campaigns. The thing is, Facebook changed how it works. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the Facebook ID because you know it's changed, it's hashed, it's a little bit harder to find. So if you're ready to go ahead and start reusing some of your ads and really start getting that social credence up, well, go ahead and let's take a look at my computer and we'll go ahead and do it. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Dane. My company's name is Rockstar Integrator. Of course, the channel's name is Mustangs and Marketing, and I've been doing marketing for the past six years. I've seen a lot of trends come and go, mainly with Facebook ads, but also with email marketing automation. I've worked with plenty of, of online businesses, and honestly, if you're looking to grow your online business through Facebook ads, through email marketing, through automation, make sure to subscribe down below, and also leave me a comment about other topics you'd like me to cover. Now that you know why we would want to uh, be reusing post IDs, let me show you the easy ways you can go ahead and find them. So in example one, what we're going to do is we're going to click edit right here. This would be at the ad level of your campaign. And right here I have a blah blah ad. Obviously this is not the one I want to use, so what I do is I go to create ad right here. Use existing post. Now, typically, this is going to be the fastest way to uh, find your Facebook ad ID. Not all the time, but I'd like to show you where you would find it. You select existing post, you go to change post, and then this is the post that we're actually be getting right here. Now, that's the post ID. You can either copy it to the clipboard and save it. Uh, I use Apple Notes to save um, post IDs in case I want to use them in other campaigns. But right now, I'm just going to select uh, this post and click continue. And you can see right here, this uh, post is now right here as an ad. Now, sometimes uh, using the little change post uh, window right here, nothing will show up. Or maybe it's not working, this is all grayed out. Don't worry, this is the other way I do it. So I'm going to go over here to my example 2 ad. So this is one we're going to edit. And if you are part of the page, what I like to do is this. I go to the Facebook page. You go to the actual post, so this is what we're using. You want to click the date. Opens up in a new window. Now see this big part right here after slash post? You actually want to copy that. You go back over to um, posts. You want to use existing posts. And then actually you want to go ahead and enter in that hashed URL uh, into post ID. I know it looks weird, don't get me wrong but then you just really hit the check mark and presto works just like that then from there you can usually copy the post ID just so you don't have that big long uh, gobbledygook of a URL if you're watching this you've actually watched the whole video and for that I thank you because everyone knows that YouTube watch rates well when it comes to how-to videos like this they tend to drop right around here but you know, if you liked this video, you found it helpful, if you could do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe down below. Now, if you also want to check out my blog, I have a link to my website down below, rockstarintegrator.com. That's where you can find a way to contact me if you have some questions, you need a consultation about your project coming up. And as always, if there's any other questions you have, leave a comment down below. Leave a comment of something that you might have learned from this video, or heck, even something you want me to cover moving forward. So feel free to check out my website, subscribe to the channel, and even subscribe to the email newsletter. Mm -hmm. Hint, hint, wink, wink. And I will see you again next time.